Hey Earth Signs and welcome to your daily love reading. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what our goddesses want us to know today. What kind of guidance we need to receive in love and life. One card for our Earth Signs, please. Sacred space and endings and beginnings. So create an altar to visit or visit a power place to connect to the divine and the old must be released so the new can enter. Let's see what our goddesses have to say about this. Okay. It says your sacred space is within you now. By creating an altar or visiting a sacred site, you're connect, you connect with the symbols and energies that you have been infused with meaning and prayer over the centuries. Don't take these symbols lightly, for they are powerful indeed. When you connect to the sacred symbols, you will help your inner sanct sanctity find a home in the outer world. You also tap into the ancient wisdom and spiritual grace of the old ways. Explore spirituality through sacred symbols and sites, and allow your soul to joyfully meander along the various ways available for you to unite with the divine. It's not a matter of how you connect, but that you do so, so frequently. Build an altar in your home. Take a spiritually oriented trip. You need a quiet place of refuge and retreat for yourself. Create a medicine circle or la labyrinth. Uh, clear the energy in your home with sage, prayer, toning, in invoking Archangel Michael, or any other space clearing methods. What a neat message. All right, let's see what Callie has to say. I sing praises to those whose hearts accept the universal order, which only appears to be the chaotic and ever-changing. In actuality, everything is designed down to the smallest detail to be in perfect operation. The dance of the universe is a happy one with energy swirling and twirling and never ending celebration of life itself. Join this dance, dear one, and enjoy the remarkable journey of weaving of the story of your life. Do not fear what appears to be change or loss. It's only transitioning orbit of energy interplaying with you and your loved ones. Embrace it as evidence that you are alive. Embrace your deepest emotions as a signal of your true human essence. Your current changes are for the best. Keep your thoughts positive because you are powerful. What appears to be lost is only the beginning of a new phase. Let the past go. It's time to move forward with positivity for the future. Awesome. Let's get a romance card for you guys. What they need to know in love today. Thank you. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Release, truly release and cleanse from the past. Cutting any karmic ties, cords, bonds to your ex. Um, clear out your energy. Uh, allow the ending to happen so the beginning can truly start. You could um, be wanting a new beginning with something, but in order for that to happen, you truly have to clear out the hurt and the you know the residual stuff from your from your past so this could be an ex from 20 years ago that you still have a bond to or an ex that you broke up with last week um it's just saying in order for you to get your new beginning earth sign you have to truly clear out your energy of that person um in your energetic space and you could do that by creating an altar um in connecting with the divine all right, your guys' energy earth sign is the two of swords, needing to make a decision, but not wanting to look at the options is what I'm hearing. Your person's energy is the six of cups. The energy of the connection is the fool. Spirit's advice. What's spirit's advice here for our earth signs? Thank you. The five of wands. And the tower in reverse. Potential outcome is the ace of swords. Look at that. Bottom of the deck the ten of cups. Okay. So here's that energetic junk I was talking about. Your exes. The old competition. The people, Too many people in your life. It's time to no longer allow them to affect your life. Um, and this is uh, the stuff that needs to be cleared out of the past. That you're still holding on to. It's done and over with. It already happened. But it's still in your space. It needs healed from. It needs released from. Um, and that's a decision that you consciously have to make. This could be somebody that you have children with. Um, that you need to 
set clear boundaries with this person. Um, you guys could be broke up, but yet there's constantly boundaries being broke. Um, and it could be hindering your current relationship or theirs. Um, let's see what we got here. Why is the two of swords here? Four earth signs today. Why is the two of swords here? Thank you. See, there it is, that tower. You need to make the choice to let that go, to release that, to get out of that constant. There's some kind of boundaries being being crossed here. Like you need to cut the energy. You need to set in stone what it is that you are and that you aren't with this ex. If you have children with each other. Um, if you don't have children with each other, you have two choices. You can either continue to hold on to this negativity, to this upheaval, to this change in your life, or you can choose to heal. Take some time to meditate, to go to your sacred space, to cleanse that energy, to cut any karmic ties, bonds, and cords. Um, or you can keep connected to this and continuously feel uh, that tower energy um, in your emotions and your thoughts. It is affecting your current life, your current relationships. Um, whether, I mean, it doesn't have to even be your current love relationships. It could be current, you know, with family, friends, whatever, coworkers. It doesn't matter because what's being affected is this constant negativity that you need to release because it's bringing you down. It's making you negative. It's making you uh, cautious going into a new relationship because you don't want hurt or you don't want to hurt anybody. Um, but that, that blindfold needs taken off because if you were to truly see what is going on, you would definitely choose to heal over holding on to this information or this situation. But in order to do that, you need to take that blindfold off and see the truth that's, that's out there. You may have to go looking for it, but it's there. You may have to take a step back and really think about it. And then you could, you'll see the boundaries crossed or whatever that is that's inappropriate um, I don't think you guys are still like messing around. That's not what I mean, but there's, there's some, there needs to be a clear defined ending to your, to your, with your ex. The person you're dealing with is the six of cups. Why is the six cups here? The five of swords and the death card. Okay. So <clears throat> this is somebody, the two of you could have had rounds and rounds. This is somebody that you had children with or somebody you knew from childhood um, that you had a relationship with. Um, but this person, it's like you constantly were at battle with them. Like they had to win no matter what. They had to be the clear winner. And they would do whatever it took to be that clear winner. Um, whether that meant killing the relationship or not. Like they would rather walk all over you and leave you laying there on the ground and, and win than to... Get off their horse and help you up. And uh, and that's what needs to be let go of. Like, there is a lot of hurt here. There is a lot of... Um, there is a lot of stuff around this ending that needs to be worked through. And you can work through it in that sacred space. The divine is here and ready to help you. Um, if you take that time to set up that altar or set up that... Or go to that sacred place and ask for this healing. Because they won't intervene without you asking earth signs um the energy of the relationship is it it did come to an end one of you um you know just walked away because these are both cards of being single um one of you kind of walked away you know in the wind and just carelessly they left without making any plans this person um they this person left with a bag on their back. They walked away from everything. This person was more worried about the finances. I do see um, for you earth signs, you are the one that just walked away. You'd rather give them everything than fight with them in court or something along those lines. And they were okay to see you go as long as they got to keep all the money. It's kind of a heavy energy. The chariot is clarifying the, oh wow. Okay, so this is somebody that you were married to, um, Earth signs. So this isn't going to apply to everybody. Or you were, you didn't have to be married to them, but you were in a commitment. You lived with them, like as boyfriend, girlfriend, fiancés, 
or married. Um, this isn't somebody that you just casually dated. Um, but in Spirit's Advice, it's time to move away from this energy. It's time to truly cut this out of your life. It's time to truly heal, to acknowledge it, to ask yourself, what did this person, what was this person's role in my life? What lessons were they here to teach me? What do I need to take away from this relationship that's going to help me in the future? Who's going to, who, that's going to make me better myself? Um, that's going to make me a better partner to my next person? Um, it's time to ask yourself all those questions in that time of meditation, and then it's time to move on. It's time to allow the divine to get you out of this situation. They are protecting you, but you need to let them have the reins. You're fighting them on it. You're not wanting to, for some reason, let go of it um, because you're just juggling these thoughts in your head. Why, you know, there's so many questions that you keep asking yourself when you could just walk, when you could just clear it away and let the divine help you. And then you could learn to dance, you know, learn that dance to change. You could learn. Um, what it is you needed to learn from this situation and then move forward in your potential outcome is the ace of swords the divine is coming in with enlightenment with truth you're finally seeing something clear you're finally seeing what it is you're finally seeing what it was what is it how do you say that you're, you're finally seeing the worth of what it was. I don't know. Anyways, you're finally seeing this relationship for what it was. Um, and you're, you're seeing the truth of all of this. Um, and it is giving you inspiration to cut away from something else. You could, um, have the inspiration to move towards a fire sign as well, or an air sign. Um, but this is taking action towards knowing Towards, this is living in your own truth, finding the inspiration to live in your own truth, to walk, to talk, to, to live in your own truth, um, by you clearing out this energy, by you allowing the divine to help you, um, in that sacred space to truly have these endings so you can start your new beginning. Um, that's what, that's what you're being guided to do. And you have the potential to have these new beginnings with, um, yeah, like I said, it could be a fire sign. We got, <laughs> wow, we got the emperor on the bottom taking charge of your life, taking charge of your emotions, allowing things to end, following your own path, being enlightened, the, the divine showing you the clear path forward, um, by illuminating what has been held in the darkness for you, Ill illuminating your shadow side, illuminating things that were hidden from you, allowing truths to come out. Um, so you can find your own inspiration here. Yeah, strength and justice. Yeah, most definitely. This is this is illuminating your shadow side. Um, bringing your life into balance needs to be your number one priority right now. Um, and this also could be the strength to get through a divorce or the strength to heal and face the issues after the divorce has been finalized. But, I mean, this is beautiful energy um, in your outcome. Like, there's that emperor again. They're all major arcana or new beginning. Yes, finally. You are walking away from this emotionally draining situation, taking charge of your life, bringing in that balance, um, addressing your shadow side that's being illuminated by the divine so you can have your new beginning, your second chance at life, your opportunity to live in your truth and follow your passion. Pretty amazing, but it's going to take you creating that sacred space and a connection to the divine so you can truly end the endings so you can have your new beginning here earth sign so i hope this helped you guys um i mean it just if you see these cards why would you want to hold on to that when you have this waiting for you in the outcome so spirit's advice is just to have the courage and the inspiration to find that truth and to live that truth and you're going to be very happy um um, down the road instead of living in this this darkness and it, avoiding to see the truth avoiding to see the situation for what it really was um so all right i'm gonna quit rambling now because i'm sure i'm way over time but uh earth signs i hope this helped i wish you guys all healing i wish you um strength will come your way and healing on top of it so all right earth signs i hope you have a beautiful day i'll see you tomorrow